Yes, my name is Galia. Um, I'm a dance instructor. Like, I'm a conscious dance instructor. I do dance therapy for people, for couples, and for singles as well. I used to have a company called We Dance Miami. That's postponed now with my activities, but I might convert it into my dance conscious company. So I'm doing a lot of private lessons right now. And I teach some workshops for couples and for ladies. What did you thought you needed Feng Shui in your life? Why? Why? Yeah, why, why do you why? think you, you, you felt the need to Feng Shui your home? You know, I felt like I'm doing a lot of work, okay? Spiritual work and transformational work. And I read a lot and I learn a lot and I redesign myself constantly. And then I felt like my home gets to be something sacred that gets to give me energy to all of the things that I'm up to in life. And I heard about Feng Shui for the longest time in my life, but I made up a story that I could never afford it. And then I finally get to the point when I was like, I'm going to find a way to make it happen. I'm going to negotiate it with my friend, which is you. Uh, and we found a way how to make it happen. And I was very, very happy and I'm very grateful and excited about what we did. What did you expect before me arriving to perform Feng Shui, like the first time? Like, what was your expectation that was going to happen? Or... That's a very great question. Definitely my expectation was that I would feel better and that some areas of my life that are a little bit, like, shaky, that, that will balance it out and that will like again boost the energy and bring it from my home to outside world and support me with like with everything that I do. Mm -hmm. uh, when we started moving things around your home, oh my God. you did a little feeling uncomfortable. So what can you express <sighs> of the feelings you had during that period? Oh, Dios mio. I don't know if you really want to share that because like I feel like and you notify me you tell me listen that's the part when a lot of clients giving up like in a sense of like oh wait let's postpone it let's move it, or like something and i and i told you i remember exactly my words i say i don't care what it takes yes. to take my life to next level through feng shui like we just doing it you tell me what to do and i'm doing it right when you start telling me what to do I start experiencing, like I'm experiencing it a little bit in my body, even though I feel like we clean up a lot of space with that. I start experiencing so much stress and anxiety and like, and even like physical pain, I guess so many things start coming up for me. Uh, I don't know, Oscar, this is really doesn't match. This is like, I'm not going to throw this away. And you were like, so what are you committed to? And I'm like, I don't know if I'm really committed to it now because like it's it's painful because it literally felt like a big step like transformation and you were asking me I remember very powerful questions like are you sure you're ready Galia like is that something that you really want and I'm glad you brought that up because that made me like they pushed me to break through that and be like yes I'm like super committed to that a, a year ago, we did uh, Feng Shui in your home. Uh, how do you feel in the last year after that change made? You know, it, it's been great. Like, I feel along the lines with everything that I do in my life. Uh, that really supports me. Like, my home, like, I feel that it's a sacred, like, cave. And everybody who comes here, they always feel so good. Like people tell me all the time, like, oh, it's so nice in your apartment. It's so pretty. It's so bright. It's so like, so and so and so. And I feel very good. Like I come home and like, I even made the rule for myself. Like one day a week, I'm not spending time with anyone. I'm not answering my phone. I'm all on only in my home doing the little things here and there and just connecting to my home and myself. That gives me so much energy and so much power, you know, to like to go um, and live my life in powerful ways. That's just super impressive. I guess my meditations and all of that adds to that. But like my home is truly and really is like the space for me to be that. And also because I'm a dance instructor and I have my little studio in my house, I feel like it's also become a sacred space for my students. Like I attract people who need to address some 
questions they have, some challenges they have in relationships, some things that they want to challenge their own selves um, as a people, as um, individuals, as um, people who's committed to growing. So I feel like my space, it's always been like safe, very sacred space. But now even more, I feel like people very like much trusting the space. And specifically, I want to say like money conversation. It's like money starts start flowing, flowing in my house. house, like abundance just constantly showing up. Thank you, wherever you are. <laughs> so you wanted last year to travel and we kind of enhanced that area and you kind of like just exploded in traveling, for example. I traveled a lot. Like last year, I spent a lot of time with my ex-boyfriend. Um, he lived in California. He still lives in California. God bless his heart. Um, he lives in California and he used to work in Chicago. So we'll be traveling a lot around the country. And he's a traveler too. He has a travel bug, just like me. And uh, I was traveling a lot. Like I can tell, I've seen most of United States that I haven't seen for all the time I've been living here. Like it's, it's, it's been amazing. And why do you think people should do Feng Shui in their homes? Oh my God, does we really talk about this question? Like it's... Ugh. What, what do you think that Feng Shui would offer to different kind of people, for example? Not coming from space, oh my God, are you really asking me this question? But because I think I shared so much, you know, like how much it's transformed my life that I'm like, people, it's not even questionable. Like, don't even waste your time to think if you want to do it or not. First of all, I want to acknowledge you, Oscar, because the way he works, he really, I feel like he comes every time to space. And not only he's been my friend through all of that, but he always connects into what's important to me. And he feels in the moment, he's like, mm, no, this is, doesn't work here. Uh, no, okay, fine, let's leave that here. And like, you always work around the stuff that, that is important to me and you truly care. It's not like, hey, okay, I have one hour, that's our agreement, I'm gonna come and blah, blah, blah. blah. No, we can stay for hours. We literally stay today, like we talking for hours, but like, it's because you care. And I feel that every time, like you come into my home, like, like, um, like a magician, like, <laughs> how can I help you? You know, like, like my gene and, uh, people should do that because, ah, uh, one thing it's about doing things in life. It's about being stuck in doing this. I'm committed to this. I do this, this and this and that. And the other thing that I strongly suggest all the people to consider is about beingness. Life is not about doing this with human beings. We get to be in order for us to have. So for me, it's be, do, have. So Feng Shui big time support that vision of my life because it supports me to be in that space, be connected to my source, to my own home, to my own self, and like fill out this space with my energy and let the energy flow so that I can take it and take it to the world, you know, and make this world a greater place. So Feng Shui definitely supports the vision of beingness. And that's very important. That's, I think, the most important thing for people to consider. And just like support yourself in any possible aspects, I feel like that's like very spiritual approach also like to, you know, to do stuff like that, like Feng Shui and maybe some other like meditation. I don't know, whatever it is for you, you know, and just trust my biggest like reason is like trust if Feng Shui is calling you or you feel like you feel like some change in your home, you know, like something doesn't like flow, that's something doesn't feel right, like go for that that sense I highly suggest to consider doing that every person who watched this video and like Oscar helped me with so many areas of my life like my relationships get to next level my traveling life my money but even like my own confidence because I knew like I'm working like I'm investing into my space into myself like I'm, I'm growing I'm expanding because of that so 
Thank you, Oscar. Oh, I really appreciate you. you. <laughs> yeah, I really, really appreciate you. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. Nine things to change. Feng Shui your life.